Hi, well, first ladies, Wild Midi here. I just want to say subscribe and like the Triple B channel. Um, it's a super channel. And also, I just want to say, oh, um, prayers and thoughts with, uh, um, you know, my family friend of the community, uh, David Greenblatt, um, uh, Diamante, and, and he, uh, he's been in an awful motorcycle crash. I can't believe he recovered. He had all these awful injuries and he broke his spine. He lost, an, uh, lost his arm. And, uh, you know, he, well, he's kind of a miracle, man. So thoughts and prayers with David Greenblatt. Yeah, hello, uh, Wagwan. Salam alaikum and shalom, brothers. Now, talking of shalom, uh, not Ben Shalom. I mean, shalom is in greeting. So, you know, my boy, David Greenblatt Diamante, yeah, has obviously seen the Triple B's videos as well as uh, there's other talk, obviously, online. You know, there's plenty of rumors on this fraud, uh, fantasist with the stupid ass dreadlocks and cigars. But, um, yeah, so he's obviously seen seen the stuff going on. No doubt, no doubt the Triple B's videos are coming up high yeah, on Google searches. Diamante is a kind of you know, self-obsessed narcissist that spends all day searching for himself. He would have seen him. Hi, David. Hi, David. Is, is it true your real name's Greenblatt? And why, what, what, why, why do you change to Diamante? And why also did you remove any reference to your old name, Greenblatt? Anyway. Enjoy Diamante. Subscribe and like to the Triple B Diamante. <laughs> so, I go to his uh, Twitter, right? So he's gone nuts on his Twitter, right? Now, obviously, everyone's laughing at him, right? Now, he, obviously, you know, he's got a lot to lose, man, if he loses his reputation. I mean, it's not that important. You know? I mean, like, Teddy Atlas is a, a lying fantasist and plenty of people in boxing are grifters. But, you know, this is obviously damage. Uh, David, because he thinks he's he's got integrity, he's so deluded, or at least he pretends he has. You know, I'm going to get into more of his his life stories later, man. I find out more stuff. He's just a, a catalog of lies and exaggerations, right? Um, but anyway, so he's he's done all these kind of pictures, right? Um, the so come out. This is this he put on April thirteenth, right? Now, uh, when did the um when did the alleged incident happen? So, yeah, so like, I uh, had a look, so it's 20th of December, just a moment. So now it's April the 13th, so that's uh, January, February, March, um, April the 13th. So, yeah, let's say about four months, basically, right, since his accident, right? And he's suddenly, you know, with the heat that's been on him, you know, and everyone's calling him a liar and a fantasy, so he suddenly decides to post these pictures, right? Now, you know, they're, <laughs> they're typical Diamante pictures, right? Really, really posed, yeah? Some fakeness about him, right? Now they clearly show a man with big dreadlocks who's had some kind of back back situation operation, right? So that's that's fine at this stage, right? We'll get on to later what 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 it really shows, right? And he's put up a bunch of pictures with him, like alleged X rays with screws in his back. Um, there's one of the scar, right? But it's 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 clearly quite fine. The process of healing. It looks nasty still, but. It's like my back scar. But, you know, the insinuation here, right, is that the, the, that, the, that scar was taken, you know, when he was still in the first stay of hospital. Like, you know, it's not, he hasn't left and come back. Um, and it's quite a clean scar. It's a very clean scar. Um, you know, it looks, well, they look, there's obviously some surgery, but we'll get on to that. Yeah, he's got all these uh, crybaby pictures of him. He's got terrible moments. I'm going to screenshot that, man. Um, one minute. Give me a second. I'm just messing around here, blood. Um, yeah, let's screenshot that. <laughs> so, I've got a screenshot of him. He's got terrible moments written on it. And it's just got him in his bomber clock dreadlocks. Just showing, like, all rolled up together. And him about to go into surgery or something. I don't know. Then another picture of a... Of what looks like a real bad, like nasty, uh, like a vertebrae, really go, going into the spinal column. You know, it looks like an extra, you know, couple of oh, millimeters maybe or centimeters, and the spinal cord is severed. Right, I mean, this is a serious injury, right? However, so he claims it's his, you know, it's his uh, vertebrae, it's his X-ray, right? And he and he's put a little bit of um. So what he's done, yeah, is he's put a a big red. Uh, ring round it right now you know to show where the where the damage is now it's so obvious this shot you don't need that ring you can see 
what's going on. The vertebrae is broken and going into the spinal cord. And the question, so is that his? Yeah, Is that his? Now someone, right, went online and, and found this picture. And they said, you're lying, dear Monet. Yeah, this is, this is a picture from Google, right? Now, uh, dear Monet removed not only the guy... The guy's comment saying that he removed his own comment answering to that. Now, this is the interesting thing, right? Now, I know about tin iron versus image matching. It's quite easy to find an image of it somewhere else on the internet. These things are not perfect, by the way. You know, and there's many ways to f kind of fool it, right? You can maybe crop the image, right? Or you can do what Diamante Greenblatt's done, which is put a huge, completely unnecessary, red, thick, it's almost like a big marker pen around it, yeah? So that now... Mm -hmm. if you if you reverse image search it it won't come up because this has changed the image significantly do you get me right and it's it, you know it takes up quite a large area of the image so you can't deny that anymore now i guarantee yeah yeah if you remove that splodge you would find it and and he's probably done his research probably went deep to find a real hard to find image but someone found it uh and and and, and they either printed it yeah, well, they called him out on it and he, he deleted it and he also deleted his own comment because he obviously wrote something. Anyway, so I've gone down to his Twitter now. <laughs> He's got a picture and it's just really moving. He's got like, David and he looks so badly injured and um, um, he's wearing one of those neck braces. Right? It doesn't seem to be on very tight. I know that sounds weird, but it doesn't. Yeah, and he's got his bomber dreadlocks all over the gap. And now he's got this, um, it's quite interesting. Like I mentioned it earlier, right? It seems like he's an oil driller. He's got this, this black lady, right, who is, who's there over him, and, he, and he's staring at her with, like, I don't know, oh, my, 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 my baby, I love you, you're here for me. Um, um, you know, let's get loving started. And, and, and um, but, you know, this is the interesting thing. Right, you look, at the, you look at the picture, right? Now, who's taking this, right? Because she, the, the, the black lady, yeah, her hands are in the picture, so they're not taking the picture, right? But it looks very close to, to Diamante's face. So is Diamante taking a selfie? Possibly. Possibly. You know, it's kind of... I mean, you imagine you've just smashed up your, your old body and all that, right? Apparently near death and near paralysis. You still don't know at this point. Yeah, because this is meant to be the day of the... The day of the... um, What's it called? Accident. Yeah? And I think, you know, I'm going to check the metadata on, 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 on these pictures. If, if there is any. To find out when they're actually taken, right? right? There may not be any. Because... You know, they're just posted online on Twitter. I don't know if it keeps metadata, but that'd be interesting, right? Then we could really bust the idiot. But, um, um, so this woman, this black lady, right, is there, and, and, and it's so, it looks really posed. She's staring at the camera, right? Now, imagine Dear Martin, right? He didn't know whether he's going to live, walk, or whatever, yeah? And yet, he's taking a selfie himself in his bed the day of the operation, after the operation, and, you know, the neck brace thing, you know, it's not very convincing. It doesn't look as if it's very tight by, by, by the angle of his head. And also, like, it doesn't seem to appear. Let me have a look here. It doesn't seem to appear in the other pictures. It's like, just, just in that picture. Which, oh, no, hang on. Yeah, it is in the other one where he's been wheeled in. But, you know, I don't know, man. I'm still a bit suspicious. It's something very fake, yeah? It looks like an actress. It's something very set up in this picture, right? And this is where it gets interesting, right? Yeah, so the woman, the black woman, she's got some... She got, uh, both her hands are showing. And what has she got? A wedding band and an engagement ring on her finger, right? Now, that would mean David's implication, and what does he put there? He's got some stupid, she don't leave my side. Yeah, right, David. We've, we've never seen you with a black woman before, or any woman. There are no, no mention of you having a wife at all, ever. And suddenly, she's putting this girl out here. Yeah, I've looked at all your bios. Yeah, I've looked at all your Instagram photos. There ain't no picture of this woman at all. Yeah, and she's clearly married, so that must be your wife. There's no mention of your wife though. She doesn't seem to exist. Now you're telling me, you Diamante, and I know you're listening, you green black blood clut. Yeah, you have suddenly got a wife that you you hid all the time before, and you can see by the picture she loved that camera blood. You know, come on, man. You know, a guy like Diamante loves to show off. He's not gonna as if he ain't gonna be showing off his his young. That pretty black lady, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm an oil driller, I'm cool, yeah. Look at my, look at my, look at my, my wife, she's lovely, you know. I'm real trendy. I've got a black, black wife, like with a trendy, trendy white bloods at the moment. 
like Sonny Edwards and uh, <laughs> David Lemieux and I don't know who are the other drillers I mentioned uh, um, Otto Valin but um, uh, you know I mean she looks attractive you can't see obviously her face because she's wearing a mask you know but you can see her eyes now, you know so I'm thinking you know my, my bullshit meter's setting off there like mm, 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 mm. this is so posed it's a married woman you've never seen before and there's no mention of this woman in Greenblatt's life or in the bios or anything I don't believe it I don't believe it. Um, it's like he's hired an actress, yeah? Um, um, and then, so so you mentioned this guy before, Mr. Joseph Pion or something. He was allegedly some, whatever, orthopedic, whatever, surgeon. Um, and, yeah, he's so, so he's, he's, he's recorded this guy. Now, you mentioned, right? Um, he's mentioned this guy before. People have Google searched him. He's there. Obviously, he's clearly, clearly a surgeon. But he's Googled this guy. Sorry, not his Google guy, excuse me. He's filmed this guy. And this this is, he, he dates his March the 15th. So it's about a month ago. Uh, and the guy's going, um, I haven't watched him, well. I'm going to watch him in a minute. But but basically just going on about, you know, oh, his injuries and what's how they're healing and all that. So he's like backing up, this is the guy who did my surgery. So it looks quite convincing, right? Yeah. Um, And then he's got this other picture of him on March the 18th, which doesn't seem to show us hardly a scar and, 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 the doctor's talking about it again. Again, like I said, so it's getting quite convincing there, uh, or so you think, right? Oh, yeah, well, this guy's doctor's obviously real, yeah? He's obviously, uh, you know, he's obviously not lying about his injury. Well, this is where it gets interesting, yeah? You know? So, it, it, he's obviously had some kind of surgery, right? Yeah? He's obviously had some kind of surgery, but, uh, you know... Diamante, the Inspector Gadget of boxing, as one of the subscribers called him. If you don't know Inspector Gadget, he looks like Diamante, and you know he's like a he's he's half he's half machine, half man, half machine, and you know he you know half robot. You know it's quite it's, it's a kiddie series, but it, it's, it definitely suits this idiot because 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 if you listen to his story, he's half metal and he lost a whole arm, sewed it back on. Yeah, don't don't just because of this one. Don't forget the first crash where he lost an entire arm. And and they sold it back on, and then he was back working two days later and moving around. Come on, blood. You know? Fuck, come on, Rubai. You know, I'm talking to Javante here, but I ain't calling him the Rubai. Yeah? I mean, I mean, I mean, now, and you could say, oh, come on, man, no one will go to this much effort. It takes so much effort. Look, look these obviously pictures, and yeah, but with, he's dealing with his rep. He could lose income in his job. Yeah? Also, you know, he's obviously hurt because he, because, because, because he worried, he worried. He's like, become a laughing stock, which he is anyway. It's for anyone who knows, yeah. But it's a well-known tactic, isn't it, of liars to to, to for to cover up a lie with an even bigger lie, yeah. And this guy's whole life is a tissue of lies, right? Remember, his arm fell off, yeah. I got more stuff that's coming in this video about him. More lies, yeah, yeah. And some say these X-ray photos don't really match the injuries, yeah. That has happened, you know. Now, so. <laughs> Well, what is my opinion on this? Yes, you did go to surgery. That is my opinion. You know, there's clearly a scar there now. But there was no motorcycle crash, yeah? There's no motorcycle crash. He went for standard back surgery at some point, yeah? It was not caused by a crash, right? Tall guys often have back problems, right? even though he's not just six foot nine, he claims, yeah? And I'm going to expose that in this video as well, yeah? Uh, and he's also got a picture of, like, some wound in, in his uh, knee, right? Because he, he said in, 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 in his original statement that he cut his knee up. Now, now you see that the, the, he's got, I can't show it on this because it's quite graphic, but there's a thing, they're looking at his knee and they've injected it and he's filming it as well, which is a bit weird. I mean, like, come on, hang on a minute. So you said you didn't want to put any of this on social media, but you filmed it anyway and you've come out of it four months later when people, mm, yeah, right, David. Um, you know, uh, along with the, with, the, with with the lady you're all drilling. Come on, man. You'd love to stick that up for So, because it, so he's um, he's got this picture. What it is 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 his knee's been opened up, right? Uh, it's clearly surgery that's been done on the knee, right? It's a very clean cut. There's no gra there's no grazes around it. This guy has allegedly fallen off his motorbike, slid over a block, yeah, yeah, over a block, on his body, like slid all the way there. Yeah, there's not not a single graze on his body, not a single graze. In any of the hospital pictures, nothing on his hands, nothing on his elbows, nothing on his arms, nothing on his face. Yeah? Yeah, nothing at all. Not even where the injuries are. 
Yeah, apparently it back got all broken up, but there's not a single graze on that either. There's just a line where the surgery happened. Yeah? And the same with the knee. You imagine falling off a bike, going really fast and sliding, according to him, a block which can be, you know, half a mile or something, man. You know, or you know, or anything from like whatever, it's in a tunnel. I don't know how he judges a block in a tunnel. Yeah. But it's a long way. That he's claiming, and, and there's no grazes, there's nothing whatsoever. Like, you fall off your bicycle, mate, wearing clothes. Or, you you know, and, and you know, it doesn't matter if he was wearing some protective stuff. All the pictures of him, of his bike, never show him wearing any protective stuff, really, anyway. But, um, you know, there's going to be grazes, man. You fall off your bike, you, you've got grazes all over the shop, you know? You must have done that as a kid. But this super miracle, man, it's come out with no bruises. No bruises, no grazes at all. Just a couple of perfect surgery scars. He's a liar. He went in for surgery. He made up a bullshit story yeah, to get sympathy and sound like a bad man. And this goes out throughout his life, the bad man stories. Right? So I'll tell you about the rest of his nonsense now. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, sorry, one more thing. <laughs> Diamante, he's like, this is the hardware permanently installed in my spine. <laughs> Gonna make security interesting with all the fights. Ha ha ha. Laughing emoji face. Now, obviously, this was posted April 13th. Now, he's already flown around the world, gone to England, Morocco, all these other places. Yeah? What do you mean, gonna make security interesting? That's going to. In the future, it's going to. But according to you, it, you know, you would have thought, well, it would have already made some problems. You know, why haven't he documented that? Because, you you know, he's, um, what's the word? Uh, you know, he documents everything else by the look of things. Some people say that actually, I don't know, the makeup of the screws, they're made of titanium or something. Actually, they don't go off. Um, they don't go off uh, in security, airport security, because they're made of titanium. But So it's obviously probably just another David nonsense BS thing that he just wants to show these pictures of these screws. And as I said, he has had surgery, but... Not, he hasn't had a motorcycle crash. <laughs> Liar. Yeah, this is another one of his stupid ass videos. That so, so he's taking them and he's going to get another bribe doctor. Pull the top up and show a really clean scar that doesn't looks exactly like a perfect no, surgery scar, which it is fine. Um, and look at the dirty dreadlocks falling away with the medical equipment, stinking the place up. It makes me sick, dirty. Blood clot, fake white rasta, bomba clot, stinking dread, liar. Yeah, right, so I just looked at the, the Dr. What's name, Hyun videos, right? Now, he looks a bit uncomfortable. It's very odd because it's very, very weird. Like, imagine you got a doctor, right? And the whole thing comes off as he's explaining. It's like a PR thing. Diamante is filming this all, by the way, you know? Now, if you're a professional doctor, it's like, well, come on, man. Wait, I'm not here to... I'm not here to do your PR to justify your nonsense. Just firstly, <laughs> where the show them the medical records. Just just take a, a couple of shots of your medical records, green black, yeah, of the injuries and all that and when it happened and and then and then uh, you know that that's a lot more convincing than just a couple of talking heads, especially Doctor Hyun, right? Now it looks very uncomfortable, and like I said he's a professional doctor. You may never be the same again, yeah. um, but uh, you know I think the key is to try to get you back to your life, and you know you're you're powering through so yeah. uh, remarkably well, and, and th that's a testament to your will. Your I will appreciate power. it. Thank you so much, Doctor. Sure. God bless you, man. My pleasure. Yes. All right, everybody. Take. Oh, and this is Donald, physician. He will not spend his time doing people's PR and explaining stuff away so that Dumonte can get his reputation back. It's nonsense. It doesn't ring true. And if he did, he'd have to be paid for it. Now, that's interesting. You're getting paid for it now. And you might say, oh, well, uh, doctors, do doctors lie all the time, man. Yeah? Doctors are not incorruptible. <laughs> Especially the American ones, man. They're like, they're, they're wrong ones. They're grifters. They? they promote smoking for years. They have doctors saying this. They gave you no harm whatsoever. And I smoke uh, Lucky Strike. Yeah? Yeah? They push treatments that don't work properly. And they know they don't work properly. Yeah? They take bribes. Sorry. Bonuses for prescribing certain meds and treatments from big pharma. Yeah, so they, I mean, this is how corrupt they are, and they will give you Vicodin, Oxycontin, fentanyl, all these super strong painkillers that are horribly addictive and dangerous. Yeah, just 
just because you know for no reason you don't need them they'll just they'll just give it over because because they'll get a bonus for writing these scripts yeah and they keep the um what's it called the patient the patient doesn't have to go you know so oh, i'll get what i want off dr hewn whatever now dr hewn is probably lying his ass off he, uh to to some extent he's obviously got to protect his professional reputation but listen man doctors are not are not incorruptible and and you know he's he's basically just talking about the surgery yeah he doesn't Yes, we did the surgery. Oh, he goes, oh, well, you may never be the same again. And there's a demand there they're grinning like an idiot in, 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 in March of this year after he's done loads of shows, you know, and danced at the Michael Conlon fight. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, it makes no sense. It's, 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 there's some, some weirdness going on, some, some, some nonsense. Diamante has got, given Dr. Huon a bit of a backhand and go, look, just, just, just talk about injury. Yeah, you know. You know, he mentioned the motorcycle thing once. Oh, well, after a motorcycle accident, he came in. I was lucky enough to be uh, on call. What do you mean, lucky enough to be on call? That's your job anyway. What, you mean, lucky enough because you're dealing with a super celebrity, David Greenblatt Diamante. Yeah, and there's a high level of psychopathy with doctors, yeah? Very high level. You know, they, you know, obviously, you know, if you talk about cutting out bodies and stuff, then and surgeons, and obviously you have to have that coldness, but, but, but you know... Doctors often psychopaths. It doesn't mean they're serial killers. I mean, in the sense that they don't feel a lot of empathy. Yeah, they are very practical. Yeah, and they and they're bought easily. And what do you think, big farmer is? What are doctors? Yeah, especially in the USA, they are the business consumer arm of big pharma, selling, selling big pharma products, and nonsense to the consumers. Us. It's all uh, absolute lie. Medical care, especially the US. Now. This is going to need two videos. I was going to go on about more of his lies, but I mean, I've discovered so many more new ones, right? Yeah, he contradicts himself all the time. Why he's, his dreadlocks are there. He he lies about his height. He lies about drug addiction. You know, he, t he lies about all these fights he was in, allegedly. You think he was one of the most dangerous men ever, yeah? He lies about being a really rough guy from the streets when his dad is like a lawyer and his mum's a teacher, yeah? He lies about, what else he lie about? He lies about his height, even. Yeah, I proved that. He t says he's six foot nine. My, I mean, my lion stinking batty hole, man. Six foot nine. Yeah, I mean, th this will be done in the next video, right? I'm sick of talking about this idiot. It's taking up my time. I've got loads of videos to and people to rinse, yeah, and expose. And, I, and now I have to spend all the time on this idiot because he lies all the time. Yeah, it, it, the grifter, a fantasist, yeah, uh, basically a bullshit artist, yeah. The lowest, but then you know, all these lies are coming out, yeah. And nothing happened, obviously. You know, oh, he's a bit eccentric, like as if eccentricity is, is an excuse for lying to everyone. Oh, you know, David, oh, oh, oh yeah, he exaggerates a bit. No, he's, a, he's, a, he's a scumbag and a liar. Now, all he does is call out fights, right? So it, you'd say, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. All he does is go, I'll oh, fight, search, no, nah, I'm gonna say the stupid names twice, yeah. But that's. The point is, he's making a lot of money. And why is he making that money? Anyone can be an announcer like that. Anyone with a little bit of confidence, you know? It's just the easiest job in the world, man. You know? You don't need, don't need, no, don't need no skills. Just need a bit of confidence to be able to speak. That's it, you know? It's even as whack as rapping. It's as easy as that. Yeah? So how do you get the job? Well, you have to get the job by links, obviously networking. Obviously, that's always the way in, in a lot of things. So obviously his brown nose is way to the top and, and, and spoken in the right people's ears and all that. Yeah? But also because he's made this, 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 this fake personality, this bomber dreadlock white raster thing. And his lies about why, he, why he's got that. I'll get onto that, as I said, the next video. You know, his background. Oh, yeah, I was so into boxing, yeah. I found him claiming that he used to be an amateur boxer, but he decided he wasn't good enough for the program. More lies. Yeah, he said he went to Oakland, a uh, uh, <laughs> boxing club in Oakland. Yeah, because he's trying to get the street reps. Oh, yeah, I was so tough. I went to Oakland. You remember, you imagine a, an alleged six foot nine, and he's not. He's more like six, four or five, but alleged six foot nine, Bumba Clark, white raster, turning up in an Oakland boxing club. Yeah, skinny guy like that, lasting like more than a minute, man. You know, what a liar. And, um, you know, all these nonsenses. He's also about fights he's been in, and they you are know, terrible, terrible. Don't want to talk about it, but uh, this is what happened, and uh, you know, he, he he's a worse fantasist than Atlas. At least Atlas did work with Tyson, you know, even though it was only two years, you know, and he worked with a bunch of other boxers, even though he's, I think he's pretty average. But um, you know, 
you know, you know, the old uh, Greenblatt just, just got nothing, man. It's a pure lies, pure, pure, pure lies. Everything is a pure lie about his life. He needs to be exposed. And like I said, you know, um, he's earning a lot of money from his stuff. All this, all the nonsense built this, 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 this kind of fake personality that people, the, the other guys are like, oh, he's quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, well, well, you know what? You know, he's a character, he's quite interesting. Yeah, we'll give him the job, he's good for PR. Well, now it's all lies, so get rid of him. I mean, they won't, of course. They won't. They should get rid of that blood clot, yeah? They should take him and his dreads and chuck him into trench town or something. But, you know, allegedly he's so hard that he'll be fine. Yeah, but let's let's see, man. Let's, let's do a documentary filming like David Greenblatt in trench town. Yeah, see how long he lasts. Two minutes before he gets robbed. Probably four minutes till he gets raped. Maybe ten minutes till he gets murdered. The boomba clap. <laughs>